Hey everybody, it's Uncle Doug. I wanted um, to confess something to you at the same time as maybe teach something. Cindy and I are down in the basement, live down in the basement of one of the ministry homes. These are three-story townhouses, all bunched together. They're not very well made. We have a walkout out of the basement, a door right over here, to a little teeny bit of a yard, and then we're up against a whole bunch of woods. So it's not, well, I don't know, 20 feet out the back door. And we've got squirrels and groundhogs and possums and coons and all kinds of stuff. Rusty is two houses over. He's got a big fat groundhog that he feeds with bread off the deck. And they will come out of the woods and sometimes with her babies and get food. Anyway, it's a fairly regular thing for us to have mice down in the basement of the houses. Particularly if we have a lot of food stored in the house. Uh, plus, the, the doors don't seal real good, and they're ground level, and stuff like that. And the houses aren't made very well. Anyway, Cindy and I uh, um, started hearing some little rustling at night behind the refrigerator. And uh, we put out some poison, and I think we found a couple little dead mice. Um, the last couple of nights, there's been something on the other side of the room rustling around behind a dresser or I don't know in the trash or something but it was over on the other side of the room and I'd go to sleep with a pillow over my head and not worry about it <laughs> last night it was right up next to my head I sit most of the time I sit here at my desk in the basement I have a my computer here and it's a mess. I got stuff everywhere, but I, I'm organized. I know where everything is. Cindy can tell you. Um, anyway, a lot of my day is spent here working the phones, working emails or whatever. And um, we eat at really weird times. I don't know when. Um, somebody's going to come into town or, we, or we're going to have a group meal or whatever like that. So... They bring me salads from the thrift store or whatever, and um, and I snack on little stuff. Uh, try to try to eat healthy stuff, little veggie things and stuff through the day. I don't have a big sweet tooth. Um, I like I like these little guys, these little six slits, because it's a real small little package, and you can have one of those and feel like you had a little bit of sugar, and that's enough to get you through the through the day or to you know a little little something before you go to bed at night or whatever anyway I usually have various drinks uh, power aids or uh, water or milk or something over here and then I've got uh, a little box of stuff and um, peanut butter is good just to have a uh, a little bit of peanut butter on a spoon to get you protein through the day I've got uh, a bag of, we took some of the meat we get from Chipotle, the steak, and made jerky out of it with a dehydrator, and so it's already seasoned Chipotle steak meat, it's pretty good, except I think we dehydrated it too far, and so now it's kind of grainy, probably needs to be reconstituted a little bit, but for long term storage it would be good. Anyway, I got some pretzels and a box of cereal and some granola bars and some other stuff. And last night, the little mouse was up in my box of food. And then it was kind of like right up against the wall behind the mattress. And I could hear it kind of like back and forth over to her side. And uh, I, I, I'm not uh, opposed to uh, killing a mouse, but... Uh, I don't like the idea of it running across me when I'm sleeping either or getting up under the covers or some other thing and whatever. So I would, I would smack the box and it would stop and, Oh, something's up and it would run away or stop moving or whatever. And then as soon as it heard me quiet down, it'd get back to rustle, rustle, rustle in the plastic. And I just hear the little whatever. 
anyway, it went all night long. <laughs> and uh, finally at about 7.30, uh, I had to get up to go to the bathroom anyway. And I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm just going to find it. I can hear it rustling. So I start pulling stuff out of the box. And uh, there's a hole on the bottom of the box in the back where it was getting in. So it got away from me out the other side. And I went to bed back for another couple hours but uh and i was grousing around to to uh cindy about how i didn't get any good sleep because the stupid little mouse had kept me up all night and it occurs to me that we all do that a lot and the lord convicted me that uh I'm complaining about the overflow of food that he's provided, <laughs> about the bountiful provision, and uh, I'm complaining about this mouse that's nibbling on the overflow of all this good stuff the Lord's provided. And it seems like we do that a lot. Instead of focusing on the goodness of the Lord, instead of focusing on how he kept you alive today, you didn't have a car wreck. Uh, you didn't have a stroke. You didn't uh, get hit by a tornado. It missed you by a mile. You didn't have somebody crash into you in traffic. You didn't whatever. But uh, somebody was mean to you at work, or things didn't go as well as you thought, or it was just another boring day, or your life sucks, or whatever. And you don't realize the thousands and thousands of things he does for you every day to bless you, to watch out for you. You forget that uh, you were going too fast, and the cop didn't pull you over. Uh, you forget um, that your car did run fine all day and it didn't break down. We had a little plastic, some kind of rod in the in the tire of the van. And uh, we went up this morning to see if it was flat and it was still holding air even though it had this thing sticking out a half an inch. And I got folks that I could ask, can you put the spare on or can you go get that fixed here's 10 bucks have them patch it or whatever I don't have to do it myself I forget all the help I forget all the blessings I forget all the goodness of God I forget how well he takes care of me and I fuss about the little mouse that kept me awake eating all the excess that God's given me you cannot get your head around the wrath of God and you cannot get your head around the love of God they are un unplumbable depths more light years than you can imagine deeper than any ocean and you cannot get your head around how much he is micromanaging your life watching out for you blessing you Letting the sun and the rain fall on the righteous and the unrighteous. And you're complaining about the little mouse that nibbled around the edges of the stuff at the bottom of the box that you forgot was there and probably aren't going to eat anyway. <laughs> we are stupid sheep. We are stupid, stupid sheep. We fight about... <laughs> secondary issues and we divide into denominations and we argue with one another while we all say that we're worshiping the one that prayed that we would be one as he and the father are one we get hung up on the stupidest things and miss his love for us and his provision and protection and we justify and say but you don't understand this is important except that it's not this whole life is a scratchy black and white cartoon. This whole life is written in crayon on the back of a bar napkin. This is, this is not reality. 
this is a a, a, a sad little knockoff of reality where things are truly important, where green is really green, where songs are really sung. And I'm sorry that I complained about a mouse. I'm sorry that I complain about the little annoyances in my life and forget the goodness of God. Maybe he'll explain it to you the way he explained it to me. I pray he does. In the name of Jesus, amen.